welcome back to what female Deku was Salem. Last where we left off, Scarlet was training, and Salem was looking for allies. We skipped to about uh, right where the cannon started, to where over that time frame, Scar Scarlet has been looking for allies for Salem. Scarlet is now twenty. He had found two people. A person with a snake cork, known as Venom. She goes by Venom. Or Venomous, is what they call her. The other one is a wolf. A person with a mutation type wolf cork, called Fang. Those were the only two allies he had gotten for Salem. And over the time frame of All for One and All Might's Fight, pretty much forgotten. The only person that's still curious about where the Grim Bird came from was the detective All Might Trusts. But he it's pretty much come to a cold case. He hasn't found anything on it. And he's still trying to get clues, ideas. Why did it happen? Well, Scarlet is trying to find someone to be a spy at UA. But then again, he's thinking to decide against it. As he's walking, taking a look at the people, and noticing all the bad stuff, the discrimination between villainous quarks, mutation type quarks, pretty much everything. The old, he's seeing the evil side of what the people can do. And that's why he's allied himself with Salem. As he's walking through, and one thing I want to say about Scarlet, if y'all remember in the last part, I think I described his weapon. So hopefully y'all know. But Scarlet looks like the picture. This picture right here. He's not wearing the armor now. He's just re wearing regular clothing. But that is his suit whenever he goes full villain. Or full. Basically when he's in battle. Anyway, back to the story. As he was walking through the streets. Keeping a good eye on everything. He noticed explosions. And noticed a boy being well caught by a villain. Ugh. Heroes can't do their job. As you say, here's people saying they don't have the right quarks for this and all that. I just want to say, any one of them could have gotten Bakugo out of there. And I, I'm going to tell you why. Death Arms could have rushed in, ran right through. I don't care if it tackled or hurt Bakugo. He could have gotten Bakugo out of there. The only one that I can give an excuse for in that situation is probably Mount Lady. Other than that, all of them could have saved. Comedy Woods, he could have used his wood cork. And the fire hydrant guy, or fire hose guy, the fire fire, whatever, could have used his water cork. Again, I'm off topic. My bad. Back, back to this. As he decides to get on a rooftop and puts on his gear, as... Two werewolf grim are right by him. I've had enough of this. As he swings his chain, wrap, wrap around Bakugo, the un spiked end, pulling him out and tossing him towards the heroes. As one man looks up, trying to f figure out who did that, but all they see are two creatures diving down. Basically hitting the sludge villain, spiring him on the ground, and perceiving to cause chaos. That should cover my escape. As he walks away, jumps into an alleyway. As he's walking away, he's hearing the screams of and the battle of fighting. If it wasn't for the orders Salem gave me, I would have joined y'all. 
is he's referring to the two Grimm currently in combat, basically a block over. But I've got work to do. As he's heading somewhere. As we go to the fight, as it took a little bit, but Death Arms managed to kill one, as the other one is still on the loose, where it managed to get away with quite a few injuries. And we, and the detective arrives to take a look. But he, he arrives just when the Grim that Death Arms had killed disappeared. Is disappearing, at least, like they do in the Ruby universe. But anyway, we got. He's like, why? But one thing he didn't notice was the appearance was similar to that bird. So he's wondering, why was it similar? Was it created? It couldn't be a corked beast. They were too similar alike. He's thinking this in his head. Trying to figure out if someone has a quark that can make them. As he's contemplating this, we're gonna just go all the way over, across town, into a, uh, a factory, uh, industrial era. Basically, with a whole lot of factories and all that. As we see, Scarlet, he's just walking around. As he's walking, you can come come out, Venomous. As she comes out, and she turns back into a human, or her human form, at least. The thing about her quirk, she has three transformations. She can turn into a snake. And I'm not talking small. I'm talking like the grim sized snake. Second, she has her half snake form and half human form. And when I'm referring to the quirks, all three of these people were originally quirkless. And their quarks were technically given by Salem. But basically they were fused with Grimm. That's how their quarks came to be. Because he they fused Venomous was fused with a snake Grimm. And Fang was fused with a wolf Grimm. That's how their quarks were infused to them. Yeah, I'm not going with she's just gonna trust quark people. She's making sure they're loyal. One, Scarlet is loyal, and if they're willing to fuse with a Grim, they're technically Salem's pawns. Anyway, why are you following me? I heard you were doing something interesting, so I wanted to get in on the action. I'm just looking for a re recruit. A recruit, whatever. It could be a person with a snake quirk. I couldn't care. It could be a person with a fire quark. It could be a person with who knows what quark. I'm just interested in what you're doing. Fine. Follow me if you wish. As he opens an old factory that was clearly abandoned. As he walks in. But why are we even searching for this new recruit you're talking about? Well, this new recruit found a Grim. I thought all the Grim were back at headquarters. Not... Mm, there are some Grim that ha Salem has roaming around the cities, undetected by the society. Well, this person found one. And it was a small Grim. But what he did, he thought it was an animal. So before it, he d dissolved... The person ate it out of hunger, and fused with the Grim. Ooh, I wonder which Grim it was. Probably one of the lesser known ones. As they enter the factory, they're walking around. They don't notice anything suspicious. As they decide to split up. 
as a person's following them using all four claw all four paws or hands or whatever following them from some of the machines following after venom he jumps off to strike at venom she quickly turns into a half snake human form and wraps around the person as scarlet turns i see you caught him as it's a person in a grim rat form skin black and white kind of like the grim here but with a more humanized figure let me go so you're the person that ate the grim so what so listen here you ate one of my masters grim turning yourself into one of them I was sent to apprehend you. Is the man still trying to s struggle to get out of Venomous's quirk? Or her form? Yeah, I wouldn't try that. As the grip tightens. So listen, you can either follow us, or we dispose of you. Which one is it? As the man is scared, fine, I'll follow you. Then follow you shall. As he signals to them is to let go. As the man falls down. Don't even think about betraying us. You fused with one of the Grim. Betrayal is not going to happen either way. As he tries to attack Scarlet. As his body just falls to the ground. Why can't I move my body? Oh yes, I probably should have mentioned this. People with the power of the Grim can't harm the people that are chosen to rule over the Grim. As what does that mean? The people that take orders. That means the people, my master or boss, whatever you call, says. She gives the order of. Which, what Grimm have to follow? And one, they follow her. Second in command, me. And any fellow of her, any of her loyal followers that she gives orders to, are allowed to control the Grimm. That includes, that includes the humanized Grimm like yourself. As he gets up, realizing there is just no hope and decides to follow. As they go back to headquarters. <laughs> so what is your name? They call me Scave. As Venomous is just slithering along. What do I say? So why are you here in these factory? I was abandoned here. I stayed here to stay alive. And another question. But Venomous interrupts. How did you manage to eat that Grim anyway? I don't know. I was just wandering around and saw it. I was starving. I ate whatever I could to survive. I am being the process was pretty painful, though. As he responds with a yes. Eh, it makes sense. It was painful for my time. My first time transforming as well. As the guy looks over at her. Wait, you ate a Grim too? As Scarlet answers, No, she did not eat a Grim. She fused with a Grim. What are these Grim anyway? They're creatures created by Salem. Who is Salem? My boss, you could say. She creates the Grim. She's given people like me powers from the Grim. You say powers like you never had them. As he looks at him, of course. I was born quirkless, as well as Venomous was. 
Hello. As they are walking and talking more about the Grim and all. Some obvious stuff. Asking on like how many there are. Doesn't tell me it doesn't tell him the answer. But asking simple questions. When they finally reach the base in the forest where the trees had turned black in a mountainous area with black pools and several buildings. An abandoned basically town in a forest. As there, when they walk in, they notice a whole lot of grim. There are more grim here than usual. Scarlet says, You're right. Most of these grim would just be wandering around. I guess we'll have to talk with Salem. As the guy is still scared. Oh, don't worry. There'll be a use for you. But for the meantime, follow. As they walk in, as they enter a room, why hello, as the, as the third guy with a, the grim mutation, rat mutation, jumps, oh, it's you, Fang. Where's Salem? Uh, she's fine. Just uh, out for a bit. What are you talking about? She hasn't left this place in years. She had to. Had some business she said she needed to take care of. Not sure with who, though. But anyway. We go to... We go to Salem. Salem walks in. It's been a long time, hasn't it, all for one? As she sits at a table... With Grimm surrounding her. Yes, it has, Salem. I want one of your Grimm to help with the USJ attack happening. Hmm, you're planning to attack UA, eh? Yes, All Might has started to work there. Perfect chance to take him out. With your Grimm, I believe it can be done. Why should I loan you, a person that... Seeks for my power. Take my grim. But I will allow it, since All Might is a problem in my way as well. But if it is experimented on, I will know. And I will send Grim rushing to your base to tear it to pieces. Understand that. As all for one knows the series of what she can do. And knows and knows that he can't fight on a two way battle with the heroes and Salem. So he agrees upon this. Fine. But just know the time will come when I have your quark. We'll see about that. I've already chosen the Grim you can take. Alright. It'll be dropped off at the USJ for you. Fine. As All for One leaves. As she leaves the room. Entering where all of her subordinates are. So this must be the person that ate the Rad Grim. It would have been helpful that you told me what Grim he ate first, Salem. I felt like it was not needed to know the information on that one. So, this is the person. As she stares at him for a moment. A coward, I can see. He's a coward, but I gotta admit, he's quite smart. As, he, as Salem looks at him. Define. He may he may have seemed like we, we he wasn't there and has separated. He is a skillful mind as he was thinking of scenarios to escape the entire time. As the rat person Scave was scared. 
because he was, in fact, thinking of several ways to escape, but none would have been, well, successful, as he had gone through tons of scenarios in his head. He may be a coward, but he's got a strategist mind that could be put to use. As Salem looks at him, fine, put him to use, though. As Scarlet signals to take Scave out of the room, as Scave, Venomous, and Fang decide to leave the room, as Scarlet goes to talk to Salem. So, Salem, what will happen now? Have you decided? Yes. UA is happening soon, with his entrance exams pretty much around the corner. I had a meeting with All for One, wanting to borrow one of my Grimm. For the USJ. You actually stayed in a room with him? I thought you hadn't talked to him for like a hundred years. Correct. But I need a deal, as the heroes are a pain as well as All for One. So we have agreed that I would send him one of my Grimm. In exchange, he'll get rid of All Might. And what if he fails? If he fails, he fails. Losing one Grimm is not harmful in the slightest. Fair point. And anyway, they'll think of him first, as he's the main priority. As the villain, or villains and heroes don't know of me, meaning they won't try anything. And sending one Grim, and when they discover all for ones behind it, they'll think he's the culprit for the Grim as well. Thinking once that he's defeated with him, they'll finally have victory. And they won't even notice us in the background. Of course, we've made an agreement not to backstab each other until the Hero Society is dealt with. Alright, ma'am. We got one about a little bit. I want you to oversee the plans of the Grim for the time being. And I'll be watching. And you will also be going to the USJ. This is where the meaning of the villains will go. I want you to go as well. As you wish, Salem. And that's where I'll end part two off for this series. I hope you all have enjoyed. And make sure to like and subscribe for more.